Hi Leos, this is your March 2017 horoscope with me, Lada from astrolada.com uh, and we're going to be focusing for this March on Venus retrograde, such a rare astronomical and astrological event that happens once every two years for about a month and a half uh, and this uh, is the planet that goes retrograde uh, most rarely, so for the shortest period of time and most rare, that's why it's such an important time and uh, this is for everyone who have their ascendant sun or moon in Leo, like me. And uh, I've been saying this to all the signs, but this can bring events to a closure, especially in March, which started uh, either in the last Venus retrograde period, which is about, um, was 2015, around the summer, uh, or even further back, eight years back, when Venus was retrograde in the same place in Aries, which happened eight years ago because Venus is c closing that eight-year cycle. So think back to 2009 or to 2015, the last Venus retrograde. Maybe some events that started then will be coming to a closure now, will be coming to a completion, will be coming uh, in one way it can they might either be finishing such events that started 2009 or 2015 or they might be coming to reevaluation and moving to the next level of commitment to the next level of of, of manifestation but there is some kind of a ending phase especially in march because venus from around the beginning of march starts moving backwards if you can see here my chart it starts moving back towards the sun and around the 25th of March, around the 25th of March, 20 here, Venus comes exactly over the Sun. So Venus, and this is the final chapter. So those three weeks from the beginning of March to around the 25th of March, Venus is making the final three weeks chapter of its 19-month cycle. Uh, and it's... it's it, it's kind of similar to closing a chapter, it's kind of similar to waning moon, something is ending, something is uh, being reevaluated, reassessed, so we can either remove it from our life or uh, cosmetically change it and move it to the next level, to a higher level of expression. And in your case, Leos, let's see where this Venus retrograde is happening, just a second. Uh, this Venus retrograde is going to be happening in the sign of Aries, actually, which is quite supportive for Leo's, because Aries is another fire sign, just like Leo is. So it's not affecting you in a negative way. If anything, it's affecting you in a supportive way, in a positive way. Uh, and maybe similar processes that happened n not eight years ago will happen currently now. And uh, Venus in particular goes retrograde, if this is the circle. This is Leo here, and this is Venus here in your ninth house. So, if this is the sign Leo, here on the circle, if you're looking at the earth as if it's a circle, here is Leo, and Venus goes retrograde, and we put this here, oops, sorry, at the R, in that area of your horoscope, which is the ninth sign from Leo, which is in Aries. And what does it mean? Well, the ninth house is actually a very important house because uh, in ancient astrology, in Vedic astrology, it actually rules even marriage. It rules anything that we're devoted to. Ninth house rules also our soulmates, interesting enough, you know. The ancient astrologers would look at marriage from ninth house because the ninth house is uh, the our... Um, what supports our mission and purpose on in life and usually those the soulmates the people that we are have a soulmate contract with are symbolized by the ninth house and ninth house also rules anything that we are devoted to anything on the path that gives us meaning anything that gives us a reason to wake up in the morning and venus starting to move retrograde there for you leo in our ninth house means that there will be especially in march re-evaluation uh, and looking back and trying to see is your time and efforts worth where you're investing in something uh, which is what you're devoted to it might be a marriage it might be a some other path in life uh, it might be some spiritual practice some commitment to something because nine house rules all those things that we are on a long journey 
usually when on a long journey with our spouse we're on a long journey with some commitment to some goal in life uh, something we're devoted to so Venus will make us re-examine those things and reevaluate them and so what can happen is that some of you might re-examine their marriage and their devotions to someone else to their marriage partner usually uh, or you, you can re-examine uh, what it is that wakes you, gives you a purpose to wake up in the morning and to to start a new day and this can be sometimes a little bit of a painful process because we're starting to see from a different angle and we might realize uh, I've been putting my energy in the wrong place or I've been giving too much to something to some goal to some uh, ideal nine house rules our ideals uh, that is not th that is not giving me the results I want so I have to re-examine my plan for the future in regards to that and change something and this is happening especially intensely in the first in, in those three first weeks of Venus retrograde before Venus joins uh, the Sun around the 25th of March after which starts a new phase of Venus which continues for around 19 months uh, which means that we'll have like a rebirth of our devotions rebirth of what we're committed to rebirth to what is worth our time and efforts to put into especially in regards to our ideals our goals nine house the future plans we have and there might be the need to retweak to remove certain goals and future plans that are no longer productive in our life some old belief systems to re-examine them and to let go of them in some way uh, and this might also lead to us um, re-examining relationships definitely and deciding it not necessarily is going to lead to leaving and breaking a relationship but trying to when Venus starts the new cycle to restart it at a better and more harmonious and more uh, balanced level for both sides or at least for us uh, and uh, often the belief systems of people change when Venus goes retrograde in their ninth house the last time this happened was 2009 and me having a Leo moon I remember that this was a period when um, my belief systems change in a big way and what I believed I was worth what I believed I was uh, worth to receive from the universe because ninth house is what the universe gives us as blessings as gift changed for me because I started believing that I'm worth more I started believing that uh, love can manifest on a higher level and after Venus stopped being retrograde within a month I attracted a new relationship in my life because something had shifted on a deep fundamental profound level psychologically in my belief system about what is right for love and what is right for relationships for me I didn't there was a mini crisis that happened during Venus retrograde someone I thought I was in love with turned out to be involved with a friend of mine and something like that you know so this made me really reevaluate my belief systems about what am I worth in love what am I worth in, in relationships uh, and uh, this is uh, when when after Venus completed that cycle and when it started moving direct I attracted a totally different manifestation of a relationship and of a partnership because my core belief systems and values have changed and this is what will be happening for many years but it happens in a more harmonious way because Venus as we said is in another fire sign which helps which is uh, you know fire sign Aries and Leo they harmonize well so it can happen in not so, such a tortured way it can happen in a more uh, gentle way so to speak uh, another way that can happen on a more material level the ninth house being the house of um, foreign countries for example being the house of higher education is maybe that some project or some uh, something connected to a foreign project or a foreign travel can come back to you and you might like for example you had an opportunity to get a visa or to travel somewhere but it didn't happen fully or you had an idea that you wanted to travel somewhere and visit other cultures or meet foreign people and now Venus goes retrograde in your ninth house there might be an opportunity for you to do that this opportunity can come back to you uh, and, and return you know to be fulfilled or maybe there was something you wanted to study as higher education as pre-qualification ninth house rules those things that we again why do we get high education because we commit on a path that we're gonna 
you know, that we're going to follow as a career later on. That's, this is what high educational pre-qualification is about. This devotion to a different path in life. So we might, for example, have to re-examine what are our main, uh, what are we basically, uh, uh, qualifications and maybe something that we wanted to study before but we didn't have the time or the right circumstances can come, us, come to us. So maybe something that we were interested in before, like higher knowledge, like uh, occupational interests can come to us again in the core in the sense of a new co a course that we can take to revise some of our knowledge to pre-qualify to improve on on this higher knowledge that can help us after that redirect to a different uh, career or to rededicate to a different and devote to a different career path um, another thing that can happen i've seen once someone had venus retrograde in their ninth house and they've applied for a few university and uh, they something didn't work out and then Venus went retrograde in the ninth house and the university rolled back to them and said would you like you know uh, we've reevaluated everything and you can come back with us again on board uh, another person um, basically went and revisited countries that foreign countries that they've been before and that uh, they had a strong emotional connection to but they weren't able to visit for a long time Venus went retrograde in the ninth house and they went back to those foreign countries connected to those foreign friends. These are some of the more kind of external manifestations of Venus being in the ninth house. A ninth house naturally in ancient astrology also rules the father figure or mentor figures, teachers, advisors, gurus. Uh, so you might reconnect with such a figure for example or you might re-examine your core belief systems uh, which is what mentors and teachers do anyway. And by the time Venus starts moving direct, you'd have a renewed, more harmonious belief system, a belief system that is more balanced and more fair on you, that is more fair in regards to how you see the universe and the world overall. And actually, you'd see a one more bene you'd see the universe as more beneficial, as more benefic, like Venus is. It, it might be preceded by some crisis of fate initially when Venus starts moving retrograde. But by the time Venus starts moving direct, you'd have kind of moved to the next level of, uh, of your belief systems about what reality can um, give for you, can manifest. And you'd have developed new belief system or new path of devotion, something that you devote almost spiritually towards. Uh, that is uh, upgraded or that is improved or is totally new but that happens you start noticing it around April while March is the time of more likelihood of crisis there re-evaluation and, and starting to change your perspective uh, but on another level Venus also rules Taurus which is your 10th house uh, here and Venus also rules Libra which is your 3rd house if you look at that so having venus go retrograde for your leos it means it can bring themes from the 10th and the third house back to be re-examined and re-evaluated what does it mean 10th house is connected to career and work projects to career uh, direction so there might be like a job offering that comes to you from the past that you know uh, that also might be connected to high education or travel some opportunity because venus is in the ninth house but something to do with career with uh, your social status that comes to be re-examined, the direction of your career to be re-examined uh, and uh, to have to change and start a new cycle after the 25th of March. Um, or job op offer can come to you or maybe some uh, work career projects that you've been working on that can improve your social status which hasn't been fully completed, has to be redesigned, has to be rethought, has to be re redone or improved on or or even scrapped to start all over on a new level. And then Venus ruling a third house. Third house is commercial uh, enterprises. So a commercial enterprise that we might be that might be coming for us to edit, revise, reevaluate, um, redesign in some way. Uh, maybe some brand project you're working on, which is especially connected to Venusian matters, to socializing, to uh, you know, to uh, beauty to art to design anything Venusian but still any commercial project projects can come back to us being Leo's 
to be reevaluated, to be reexamined, to be fixed, maybe with some problem they come to that 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 needs to to the projects to be changed. And as every retrograde planet Venus requires three times more efforts, but gives three times better results once it starts moving direct. So while it's retrograde the whole of March and the half of April, you might be asked to work really hard on some career project that's coming back to you to edit that maybe you're not fully satisfied with, maybe even to close the chapter or need to complete it and finish it and move on to a new such one <coughs> or some kind of commercial project uh, or initiative that you started, especially uh, intellectual initiative because third house rules something connected to writing, to speaking, to communications as well and maybe having to redesign that because Venus is the planet of design. And also maybe some contacts from the past can come back to you because third house rules any kind of contacts and with like friends and co-workers, teammates, associates that can come back to be re-examined, maybe restarted, changed in some way. <clears throat> uh, or some also opportunities for travel that can come back as well. So that's, that's all the different ways this Venus retrograde can affect us as Leo's as little sun, moon, or ascendant. So this is the most important part. But not only that, Mars is also moving into our 10th house in Cap uh, sorry, in Taurus from around the 9th, 10th of March. And it's gonna stay there the whole March after that and a big chunk of April. Uh, so it's gonna revitalize our career sector. Mars goes in our 10th house as Leo's once every two and a half years when wherever Mars goes, we get more energy about that, we're more initiative, we get things done more efficiently, faster. We can encounter some problems as well, like more competition and more uh, challenges there, someone more bossy, a uh, boss that is more demanding or more bossy, more stressful circumstances in regards to our career and social status. Uh, but somehow Venus being retrograde, which rules our career, is balancing this out. Uh, and it's making us be not as reckless or uh, a bit more cautious because it's moving backward, so to speak. Uh, but it's kind of they balance each other because Mars wants us to move forward in our career to make changes there. Mars is planet that instigate changes, that gets down to the dirty work and, and gets it done, tackles it. Uh, the difficult things like confrontations, like initiatives, like starting difficult projects. Uh, but Venus also moving retrograde and it's connected to our career because it rules the 10th house means that we are um, also working on something from the past in regards to our career uh, and but we're not fully stuck without any good results because Mars is moving direct at the, uh, in our 10th house and helping us move forward with such uh, career activities so to speak with such career and social status activities so that's what I have for you for Venus Retrograde Lewis. Let's see what happens. Write to, to me, share your experiences. Uh, what, on what level did you feel this Venus Retrograde? Was it in the ninth house, in the 10th, in the 3rd? How is it affecting you? What are the results? Thank you.